If you're a day or swing trader, you're always on the lookout for trades where your, your risk is very little if you're wrong while preserving the opportunity to make a terrific profit if you're right. I'm Seth Freiberg, the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk here in Manhattan, and professional options traders like the guys on our trading desk are trained to understand how to structure options trades to create incredible risk return trade-offs over very wide price ranges. In today's video, we'll be teaching you a very simple option strategy for setting up a potentially very large win with very little risk across a wide range of prices when a clear trend is developing. So if that sounds like something you'd like to learn about, then stick around because I think you're going to find this eye-opening. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for traders and investors all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so one of the primary focuses for day and swing traders is to find outstanding risk reward trade-offs on the scenarios that they believe to be probable so that if they're wrong they won't lose very much money but if they're right they'll make a great deal of money and of course those situations take a little skill to find and so in this video we're going to teach you a low risk options trade that you can use when you spot a pretty clearly defined trend in the market so for instance let's take a look back at the final quarter of 2019 in the pre-pandemic days. And you'll probably remember that at that time, the market was in a pretty clearly defined uptrend during the first two months of the fourth quarter. And with December being in many years a bullish month in what's known as the Santa Claus rally, it would not be unrealistic to assume that the trend has a decent probability of continuing throughout the remainder of the year. And so what some traders like to do is to project out the direction of the trend into the future and then assuming that the same basic trajectory will continue, draw a projected range like this, which in this instance is indicating that over the next month, the market will climb into the 3230 to 3330 range. Most of you are probably familiar with index options, which are the options that we'll be using in this video to explain a trading strategy to take advantage of a probable range of prices in a trend. But there may be some of you who just have a passing knowledge of how they work. So I'm going to do a really quick review of the basics so that you'll be able to understand this strategy. For those experienced options guys out there, don't worry. This is going to be quick and we'll jump right back into the lesson. So you're probably all familiar with how equity options work. With equity options, a call buys you the right to buy 100 shares of a stock at the strike price of that option at any time before the option expires. And a put option entitles you to sell 100 shares of stock at the strike price of the put before that option expires. But there are also index options, which work similarly to equity options, except that there's no such thing as 100 shares of an index like the S&P 500. So you can't really buy or sell 100 shares of an index. But what you can do is get paid in cash $100 per point if the index expires above the strike price of an index call that you buy or alternatively you'd be paid $100 per point for each point the index drops below the strike price of your index put. So for example if the SPX index is trading at $3,000 and you buy the 3010 call if the SPX goes to 3015 you'd receive $500 in your account. If the index closes at 3010 or lower your call expires worthless. On the other side of the ledger if you buy a 2985 put and the market sells off down to 2975 you'd make $1,000, but if the market just sold off to $29.85 or higher, the put would expire worthless. So those are the basics of index options. Okay, now, now with that understanding, let's move to the first trading day in the month of December 2019, which is December 2nd. And if we look forward to the very first options chain available a month later, that would be the January 3rd, 2020 options chain. Now remember that the premise of our trade was that there's a probable move to the 3230, 3330 range in the next 30 days. So let's take a look at what would happen if we sold nine of those 3230 calls expiring on January 3rd, right at the bottom of what we see is the likely range for January 3rd. And in turn, we buy nine of the 3325 calls right below that. Now, 
Before we get into how this trade works and why a trader might use this strategy in an anticipated trend continuation move, I wanted to let you know that beyond what we're teaching you in this video, there are a large number of sound, viable long-term techniques for trading options for income. In that regard, we're currently running a two-hour free intensive workshop where we'll be teaching you three of those strategies that real professional options traders use. And so we're gonna be teaching you a really simple but incredibly effective strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like where you'll make your target profit whether the stock goes up goes nowhere or even goes down a small percentage. So if you'd like to learn these strategies, then just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That's going to open the free registration page in a new window. So don't worry, you won't lose this video. Or you can register for the workshop at optionsclass.com. It's not often that retail traders can be taught strategies employed by actual Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Back to focusing on this trend involving this debit spread option strategy. Let's take a look at the cash flow situation that we find ourselves in. So as you can see, when we sell those 32.30 calls for $3.65, well, remember those pay you $100 per point. So you multiply that by 100 and you sold nine of them. And so the total income we receive for selling those is $3,285. Now, when we buy the 32.25 calls, well, naturally those cost more because the chances of those having to pay off is higher than the 32.30s that we sold because they're closer to the current market price, which is currently 3116. And so as you can see from the calculation of the cost, we pay out a little bit more to buy those. And so the final original cost of this call debit spread is $495. Now, if we move ahead three weeks to December 23rd, we'll see that the Santa Claus rally is taking place as it often does in December. And a few days before Christmas, the index has pushed up to 3224, which is more than 100 points from when the trade was first initiated. And so naturally, both of the calls, the long 3225 and the short 3230, have appreciated. And so if we turn to our scorecard here, we can see that the long calls are now worth over $17. So its value is now over $15,000. But the short call also appreciated, and that is almost worth $13,000, which is a negative for us because we're short those options. So when you net them down, our original 495 investment is now up over $2,400, a 500% increase. So we have experienced a five to one risk reward already, which probably would be sufficient for most traders. But just for the fun of it, and more importantly, to understand something important about option spreads, Let's move now to the final day of trading for this spread, which is January 3rd, as I said before. Now on that day, as was the thesis of our strategy, the index continued in that trend and closed near the bottom of the range that we had mapped out at the beginning of the trade, that 32.30, 33.30 range up at 32.34. And so on the day that this spread expired, January 3rd, let's take a look at the final result of the trade. And as you can see, with the SPX at 32.34.70, that 32.25 call is $9.70 in the money. And so you cash that in for $970 per option times your nine options for a total of $8,730. On the other hand, you're short the 32.30 call, and so you have to pay the owner of that call, and that's in the money by $4.70. So you can see from the calculation that you actually owe that call owner $4,230, leaving you with a final value of $4,500 which is a profit of 4,005 on the trade, which comes to a whopping eight to one risk reward. Now, one interesting point here is that you'll notice that the final value was $4,500. Well, that number is an important number because at any price above 3,230, the value of the spread would have been 4,500. Why? Well, once you get past 3,230, then no matter how much higher you go, the growth in the payout on your long call will always be offset by an equal growth in the payout of the short call that you sold to someone else. So the maximum profit on the trade is $4,500. That's the most that it can be worth. So you need to keep that in mind that the risk reward has a lid on it when you set up a call debit spread in a situation like this.
the larger takeaway from today's video has to do with capital utilization. Think about it. You could have expressed your thesis that the market was going to stay in that trend range for 30 days by simply buying the 32.25 call for its original price of $4.20. But as you can see, that would have yielded only a $550 gain, whereas by us employing the call debit spread for only $75 more, we made more than $3,400 more in profit compared to just buying that call outright. And that's because the income we received from selling that 3230 call was so large that it gave us the ability to buy a larger number of those spreads for close to the same price as one of the 3225 calls, affording us an opportunity to make so much more profit at the end of the day. It's these kinds of capital saving features of option spreads that makes professional options traders so efficient at utilizing capital, controlling risk, and setting up incredible risk reward trade trade-off situations. Now, just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it and would like to learn the details of three real world option strategies that professional options traders use all the time, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That's going to open the free registration page in the new window, so you won't lose this video, don't worry. Or you can just head on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It really is a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button right now so you won't miss all the free trading videos that we're posting constantly on our channel to help you to improve your game as an options trader.